Good morning, this is Seth Nagel with the National Weather Service here in San Angelo, Texas. And this is the morning weather briefing for Tuesday, February 27th, 2024. The uh, most concerning uh, part about today's weather are going to be the uh, red flag warning conditions for our northwestern counties. Uh, and that red, those red flag conditions extend uh, farther north into the west uh, towards Lubbock and into western Oklahoma as well. Uh, but we're looking at critical fire weather conditions in these areas uh, where we're going to see winds pick up out of the west to southwest uh, to 25 to 35 miles an hour with gusts up to possibly as high as 45 miles an hour. Relative humidities will drop down into the 15 to 20 percent range and of course our fuels are very dry out there as we have not had much rain lately and um, We've uh, during the winter months, of course, all these fuels cure out uh, and become very dry. So any fires that develop will be able to spread rapidly in these conditions. Uh, so uh, it is advised that uh, any kind of activity that could create uh, open flames or sparks, any kind of outdoor activity that might do that, uh, should be avoided at, uh, at all costs today. That red flag warning is in effect from this afternoon until around 7 p.m. tonight. In addition to the uh, red flag warning, we do have uh, windy conditions out there today. We're looking at, uh, uh, as seen in the previous slide, west winds 25 to 35 miles an hour, gusts up to 45 miles an hour possible. So there's a wind advisory out as well. So, um, of course, any high profile vehicles, especially on north south oriented roads, should uh, take particular uh, caution today with the winds out of the west. It will blow into the side of those vehicles, and uh, of course, any you know some unsecured objects and and some small limbs could be blown down. So, uh, be careful out there in these winds. Other than the windy conditions and the red flag warning conditions, we're looking at uh, another very warm day. Uh, um, these uh, temperatures we're looking at temperatures getting up into the uh, 80s to. Uh, potentially lower 90s in some areas in our southeastern counties so mid to upper 80s for the most part but even some lower 90s possible uh, for our eastern counties for the extended forecast tomorrow we're looking at much different conditions a cold front will move through tonight bringing gusty north winds uh, we could see gusts as high as 40 to 50 miles an hour behind this cold front late tonight into wednesday morning uh, so in much cooler conditions, we're looking at highs tomorrow in the from the lower 50s for northern areas to uh, maybe as warm as the mid 60s for southwestern Crockett County. But most of the area will likely see anywhere from lower to mid, maybe some upper 50s. Uh, morning lows tomorrow morning, upper 30s for our far northern counties to around 50 uh, in our southern counties where the cold front won't quite have reached uh, yet. Uh, tomorrow morning. For Thursday, we're going to continue to see uh, mostly cloudy conditions and maybe a chance for some light rain showers around the area. Uh, it'll still be somewhat cool, uh, a little bit cooler than normal with highs from the mid 50s for northern and eastern locations to uh, lower 60s for western counties. Uh, winds will turn to the southeast tomorrow uh, after those north northeast winds on Wednesday. Uh, They'll turn to the southeast for Thursday, that is, uh, at 5 to 15 miles an hour. Following the cooler weather for Wednesday and Thursday, we're looking at sunny skies through the weekend, uh, from Friday through the weekend, with temperatures warming up into the 70s to mid-80s, and uh, winds generally out of the west or southwest at 10 to 20 miles an hour. That is the morning weather briefing for this Tuesday morning. Once again, be uh, very careful out there today with any kind of activity that could cause any open flames or sparks with the red flag warning in effect. Okay, that'll do it for this morning. Please check back tomorrow morning for an updated briefing. Thanks.